And video number two is live. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The first, the vlog this morning was all about the Brooks Ghost 11. My first impressions of this shoe. Go check that out if you haven't seen it. But this video is all about socks, socks, socks. Specifically, Solomon running socks. And I have been testing out these socks for... I would say two to three weeks now, all of them. Um, I've been putting them through the paces, trying to figure out, and listen, I thought, I thought trying to dial in and figure out a, a running shoe was difficult. It's That's easy compared to running socks. Like it's so fine tuned and specific. Uh, so anyway, I was able to acquire five pairs of Solomon running socks. I'll run you through all of them, but I'm only gonna focus in on this one specifically. If I talked about all of them individually, we would be here far into the evening. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna focus in on this guy and basically, what is my ba what is my premise or my thesis behind running socks? Can running socks make you faster? No. I don't think so. I honestly don't think running socks it's all about your grit, your determination, your courage. Like it's it's a between here, right? Between the ears. That is what's going to make you faster. And frankly, I I like to say quite often, I don't say it too often, but fitness does not lie, right? Fitness does not lie. Our fitness levels determine how well we are going to do out on the cross country course and on the track, on the roads, in the mountains, etc., etc. So, but, but, there is a but. I will say, can a running so a running sock enhance your race day experience? 100%. Absolutely. If you are more relaxed because you have a sock that is dialed in, even if it's in your mind, and you're you're able to calm down, that is a good thing. Keep your heart rate down at the starting line and just relax, not get overhyped. You know, sometimes in these big marathons or different places, like there's loud music and we can get too excited and we go out too fast or whatever the case may be. So if you feel confident in your sock choice, and I'll be honest, I have favorite socks that I use for particular days. Um, so anyway, I would say relaxation. And if a sock helps that, it, you will, you could potentially run faster or race faster. So we've got the Solomon leg up, interesting sock. Again, I'm not gonna break down every single pair. We've got the long run. This is the one we're gonna hone in on. Then we've got the mid run, the short run. And then this is the, I believe it's called the sense support. I would put it, I think it's put more in the category of like a crewing sock, just getting out there for easy miles, maybe not a, a full on workout, just a sock kind of a kick it around sock, if you will. So let's hone in. I got to read you some of the ingredients in this NSO long run sock from Solomon. Listen to this. Holy smokes. 62% poly polymide. 15% polymide nanoglide, 15% polypopylene, I'm not pronouncing this right, 6% elastine, 2% silicon. So this sock, according to their, you know, their promotion and their marketing from Solomon, they're promoting it like this. Features energy return, non-sliding sole, anatomical fit, evacuates sweat, anti-blister, lateral support, ankle bone protection, and ventilated. I'll say, okay, so we're not gonna break down too much. We're gonna we're gonna hone in on two points that I really really like. Solomon, you nailed it. See this little ankle pad right there, that red that red spot right on your ankle bone. Have you ever been in the mountains where a, a rock, or if you're on a trail, or maybe on a, a trail with a lot of sticks, and a stick or a rock pops up and gets you in the ankle bone? Ha! <sighs> It's one of the most painful things ever. And it's happened to me up on the 14ers here in Colorado. Uh, or if you sometimes kick yourself, I've done that before as well, where you kick your ankle bone with your other foot. Uh, it happens to the best of us. Yes, I am feeling some nice padding and protection through the, and like, listen, this is like splitting hairs a little bit, but I'm telling you, Solomon, thank you for that. Just because of that feature, I will be using this sock up in the 14ers this summer when all the snow melts and I'm able to just uh, focus on not really worrying about a rock on the really, really uh, jagged rocks just popping up and hitting my ankle bone. That's no dice, you don't want that. So thank you, Solomon, for thinking and engineering that into this sock. And then we're gonna focus on one other feature. This is pretty neat. So this is silicon down here on the, I'll just call it the forefoot of the sock. So on the bottom of your foot, 
and basically the silicon has some anti um it's it's not slick so it's gonna catch in the bottom of the shoe to prevent any slipping for every step imagine if you're slipping a millimeter or a half a millimeter every single step for a marathon that's not good like just a little slip in the shoe a little slip in the shoe that is not good that's in fact part of the reason why i like to race sometimes in bare feet because i feel like your feet are one with the shoe Anyway, remember in the first in the vlog from this morning, I was slipping yesterday in the Brooks Ghost 11. Really, really bad. Like the inner liner or the inner material material inside the Brooks Ghost 11 is not it's 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 a little bit of an issue. So, I'm wondering, I'm going to pair, I'm going to pair this sock with this shoe the next time I take this shoe out because of the silicon through the forefoot just to help get a little it basically feels like a little a little bit of rubber just a little bit of rubber just a little uh it just feels it feels like i'm getting a little grip there through the so that's some pretty pretty high-end engineering there kudos to solomon for putting that into this sock so in conclusion i am definitely going to use this sock for long runs up in the mountains especially this summer i probably won't use this sock as much on the roads I think it's just, it's built, it's really, it's got like engineering behind it to help with trail running and wicking away like three, four, five hour long runs where you're just, you know, you're sweating for three, four, five hours um, and you need to get all of that sweat out of the shoe as much as possible. So that's how I'll be using this sock and I don't even know if the sock is available yet to the public. Um, stay tuned. Actually, you know what? If I find a link to it, I'll, li I'll post it down below in the uh, description. If it's not there, then you know that it's not available yet to the public or at least I can't find it on their website. And basically, Francois, who won UTMB two years ago, I think. Yeah, two years ago. He's just this incredible ultra runner. He won UTMB, which is a hundred plus mile race over in the Swiss Alps. And basically, he helped design this sock. So I have a lot of respect for Francois and his racing style and his grit. And listen, again, it's a sock. Let's not overthink this sport. Let's try and keep it as simple as possible. But at the same time, um, if we can help protect our ankle bones, I'm, I'm game for that. If we can help prevent any slipping in the shoe, I'm game for that as well. Okay, we are going to go with... NSO, I know it's a little strange, but we're going to go with NSO for the keyword, so the acronym I should say, NSO, down below. Thanks for hitting it up, and basically, question of the day, <clears throat> have you, this is really fascinating, have you ever had a blister ruin a long run, a workout, or a race? That's the worst case scenario. Like, a, a bl I've had, I think, I don't know about a race, but I've definitely had a long run completely obliterated where I'm coming black coming back to my house completely bleeding so that's not good so that's the question of the day tell us your your blister stories down below that'd be awesome and uh, that's the end of today's second video thanks for tuning in the Solomon long run along with all of these other socks maybe someday after I put a little more time into these I can talk about these as well down the road thanks for tuning into the second video seek beauty work hard and love each other. Woo! Socks, socks, socks.